Da na na na, da na na na, da na na na. Edgar TV. Don't forget, guys, while you're watching this video, if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, hit the subscribe button while you're enjoying today's latest Edgar TV episode. How do you guys, and welcome back to Edgar TV. Now, for those of you who know, who follow the channel, will probably know by now that before I was a professional dart player, which is quite a recent thing for me, I was a sports coach. So from the moment leaving further education, I got into coaching through uh, being a PE teacher and then working as a uh, coach at professional football clubs. So uh, yeah, I was... That's sort of been my uh, my get to here. So this is something I love doing. I love links that link between the coaching side and link between the darts. Now I've been sent these. I asked out if we could have some um, some products sent through, some training stuff. And Hex Darts was one of the people that reached out and sent me some of these through. Now I've always been very skeptical of these sort of things. So like practice rings or things like. That. I've always been very skeptical of them. The reason being is because. If I was going to do a, a session, for example, these are to give you an isolated area of training. So, for example, if I was going to teach an under 10s football team, for example, we'd probably start looking at going into like the corners of the goals rather than playing in the centre of the goal. So we'd put some isolated areas in there, some isolated targets to get them playing into certain areas. The thing with darts is we've already got these isolated areas marked out so i've always been very skeptical of these but now i've had a go with them i've worked out how they are best worked so first of all we'll take a look at um a training drill that i do so darts is basically a game of horizontal and vertical lines with a variation on power of the throw to judge in where they land simple so when you start darts and you're in that foundation stage, uh, vertical darts are the first thing you'll learn. So the easiest way to do that is by putting in these walls and playing within these boundaries. So learning the vertical darts first. The next thing, obviously, is the horizontal darts because things like tops, triple twenties, bullseyes, just having that vertical lines aren't going to help you with those. You need to be able to judge the different lanes of power and what you can do with those. And then once we've got the horizontal and vertical lines, we bring those back in again and we start working on smaller margins, such as this burst the tape game. So bringing that back to these, I think the target audience for these are people that have gone past the beginner and the foundation. So the foundation stage of um, any sport is learning the skills and the techniques. And hold it right there a second. I just want to show you this. This is the sports development continuum. This is used over every single sport that pretty much ever existed that categorizes people down into four categories which is foundation stage learning the skills participation applying those skills in a game sort of format performance which is an emphasis on winning and trying to compete and then excellence at the top which is obviously where i am so people who have already got that and learned the skills of the techniques these are your next step okay so these are like a, an isolated area which will start working more on um the horizontal lines so once you've got those vertical and horizontal lines and we can now start bringing it down into isolated areas so the drills i've just shown you work on horizontal um, vertical lines horizontal lines and now once you've got those we need to start building it into areas so we need to start squeezing in this big one for example here it gives us a little bit of the fives and the ones and it makes the treble about four times the size on the big one and it gives you a little bit of leeway off of that vertical line so grows a section now people who say they help you focus on certain areas using them wrong okay they're not to help you if you can't focus on something that's bright red or bright green you've got a problem okay they're not for focusing in on certain areas they're to highlight the area for which you can throw and give you an isolated practice whether you hit the treble in this throw or the 20, or the 5, that is irrelevant. You are throwing at the target, okay? So it's the target you're throwing at. There are three different sizes. I'll just show you the small one here, just to give you an idea as well. So the small one goes onto the wires, and it extends the treble. So it just gives you a little bit more room. Now, in the olden days, what they used to do is, you say something called chalk line. So what they used to do is, you used to get a piece of chalk, and they used to draw a line the thickness of the chalk either side, and that used to be your training. This 
is a modern day and a replacement for that chalk line sort of drill. Um, all you do, you just pin them to the board and you just throw away as normal, which I'll show you very shortly. Now, another interesting thing is I spoke to the designers of these and they tell me that the, the opticals, so the optical science or the optical illusion, shall we say, of these, the reason they are a hexagon is because if you stare at a circle for long enough, the eyes start to see the hexagon shape. So that's why they've gone for the hexagon and not for the ring shape. Let's have a look how I get on with these um, hexagons. Okay, so we start with the big one here. And I can tell you to start with, actually, it feels quite weird throwing at these because I think one part of it is the psychological side. So because the target's so big, it seems easier, which then makes it harder. This is the exact reason a lot of people miss big numbers, like going for 50 and they'll miss the big 18, because it seems easier, that actually it makes the challenge a little bit harder. But you'll see that I've missed a, missed a shot there. Um, you'll see you can get to the side. The rubber obviously is flexible, so it will bend and move, which is good. Um, so it's not something that's going to, like, knock your darts out the board or like a hard plastic so we say because i've seen some of these that are quite hard plastic so they're made out of quite a flexible material and you'd see on the top one there that i was able to just move the hexagon around a little bit um you can see now i'm starting to get used to it it, it took a couple of throws to sort of get used to the area and everything so um what we'll do is we'll change it and go to the next size we'll go down there are three sizes to work with so this one now is the medium size that you'll see on screen matthew edgar is now pinning to the board these sets they come with the three obviously the hexagons and they send you four like pins like small needle pins that you can just put these targets onto your board they cause no damage whatsoever um, i use these uh, for quite a length and no damage whatsoever caused to the board by these you'll see now that we're sort of losing the ability to go left and right so there's a tiny little bit of five and one but now we're starting to bring it in from that horizontal um they found that vertical drift. I keep getting that the wrong way around today. The vertical drift. And like I said, we're now working on those isolated areas. I do not believe that this is a foundation. I'll keep saying it. I think if you're just starting up darts, I don't think this is a benefit to you. I think this is for somebody who's just who's on that journey and is looking to take that next step up the sports continuum, either from step one to two or two to three. I don't think it's for those in foundation. Those in foundation, stick to the drills I've shown you at the start. They are in the Become a Darts Master um, training game that I've put on. So have a look at that through the video library. But you'll just see, yeah, I'm, I'm, these are looking quite good here. Edgar, good darts there, good darts in that section. Um, okay, let's move it down. Let's go down to the small one. Now, although this one's smaller and it just basically extends the treble by that chalk line sort of um, area to that... Um, double the treble size i actually found this one was slightly easier than the bigger one but i think that's down to like i say the psychological factor because now it's sort of zooming in towards the middle of this target is now the treble where before it sort of seemed a little bit off but i find the small one to be a bit easier i say that and then look i'm going to uh, hit a five and a one so terrible footage and terrible timing there from me but still I still believe that this was the uh, the easier one of the three to use, but <laughs> maybe I haven't picked the right footage to show for that. Yeah, let's, uh, let's hope I get some on this one. Ah, there we go, we're back inside. See, I've stopped, I've got distracted here by me throwing the darts. Ah, um, yeah, these are, yeah, I'm quite happy with these. The, the, the isolated areas, but for the right reasons. That's what you need to do. Don't think of it as a highlighter. So, in conclusion, they're a nice little training aid. They really are. They cost about £8, I believe. Um, I'll put some links in the description uh, so you can go check these guys out. Um, and the link to their Twitter page will also go in the description. They are extenders and they are, let's say, areas. They're, they're not highlighters. Don't anyone who says, oh, look, you put it over here and it'll highlight. No. Um, these aren't for beginners. Foundation people, just learning the skills. 
I don't see any benefit. But if you can throw horizontal and vertical darts, and now we're starting to look into isolated areas, because a treble, a double, is an isolated area. This will extend it and it'll just start bringing it in and bringing it in and bringing it in until then we can start saying, right, I'm now going to throw at the treble. Nice little training aid, guys. Check them out. Also, if you have a training aid yourself and you're watching this video and you think, I'd love to see the primetime player bring up on Edgar TV my training aid, please do, guys. Hit me up on social media. All my links are in the description below. Send me a message. Send me out some product and I'll be able to do a review on Edgar TV for you guys. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe button if you have, and we'll see you soon in the next Dars related video. Edgar TV.